Hi, it's Zoe, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial, but I'm going to do a voiceover so I can explain to you what I'm doing as I do it. And I don't actually know how much of a use this is going to be to many of you, um, because I know a lot of people use this effect, but it's really cool, and when I was learning it, I kind of had to ask friends to figure it out by myself, because I couldn't find a tutorial online for it, so... Um, I hope this is useful to you, um, but it's the cookie cutter uh, effect in Sunny Vegas and how you can personalize it and make it your own and pretty much play around. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put the effect on. So it's under video effects and then cookie cutter. And I'm just going to put the default one on and we drag it onto our clip like that. So we've got the um, video effects uh, box here. And you can see that it's just come up uh, as it's just come up with the shape. Oh, I put a white background on so you can see it better. Um, but you can see that and with the playback, it's just there as the shape. We can personalize this by using these knobs, which are the animate knobs for uh, the effects here. So it's like feather, border, size. So we're going to start with size. So say at the beginning, uh, we want this uh, clip to come in as a circle. So. We'll click this little, I think they look like the clocks, I think. So we're going to click the clock. And then this timeline comes up down here at the bottom of the box. Um, and so say we want the size to be nothing at the bottom. So we can just move the size knob down like that. And then on our timeline, we can go to where we want it to come up. So say here. And then we can move the size to however big we want it. So that is pretty nice. And we can play around, like we can go to the end and make it bigger there so that it keeps getting bigger a little bit, like, but a bit slower. Um, so that's going to look like this. I'm sure you've seen that effect. I mean, a lot of people use it. Um, so that's pretty much that. It's really not hard. And you can play around with these other effects. So like feather, say, you can click the little feather knob there. And then to the end, you can make it have like a little bit of a, a feather board, like a softer edge. So that's going to look like this. And you can see the feathers kind of growing on the edge, and that's what it is. Like you don't have to have it one way the whole way through. You can change it um, like that. Um, so yeah, that's quick how You can change the shape. You can change like, yeah, as I said, the feather. Um, you can change this, they can, you can have a border <laughs> like that, you can have you can have it repeating itself like this, you can have it repeating itself like that. It's pretty, like, you can do whatever you want with this and it's, like, really fun. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to see any tutorials from us, uh, comment those down below as well and we can get those done for you.